Hi, boys and girls. I had promised you when I talked to you guys on Google Meet that I was going to read you a story. So I am going to read the story, Never Babysit the Hippopotamus. And I like this story. I like the illustrations especially. Um, and I'm going to hold them up. I'm going to read it and then I'm going to hold up the pictures so you can see it so that I don't lose my voice on here because it was cutting in and out. I've had to do it like three times. Never Babysit the Hippopotamus. By Doug Johnson and Abby Carter. Never babysit the hippopotamus. To make them forget about their parents, you have to play hide and seek. You should pretend that they are very hard to find. To let them get to know you, watch a TV show, but don't watch a scary one or they'll make you look for monsters in the closet, under the beds, in the basement, and even up the chimney. And be careful if they ask you to dance. The hippopotamuses have very big feet. Don't play leapfrog with them. They can be really hard to jump over. Don't play horsey either. They always want you to be the horse. Oh, never babysit the hippopotamuses. They like to play cops and robbers and pirates. and lion tamer. And they love to wrestle. Sometimes they will even let you win. They like to play football. Whatever you do, don't play in the living room. They are very hard. Before you get them ready for bed, you can make them a snack, but don't make popcorn. They can eat a lot of it. Oh, never, ever babysit the hippopotamuses. Bath time is crazy. The hippos love to chew cannonballs in the tub. It can be quite difficult getting them into their pajamas. Not to mention their slippers. And brushing their teeth is not an easy job. Oh, never, ever babysit the hippopotamus. After you bring them to their room for bed, they will surely start. Then you will have to tuck them in and read them a bedtime story. Remember, turn on the night light before you leave. The hippopotamuses are afraid of the dark, and if you forget, they will run out of the room. And jump into your lap! But now it will be late, and their parents will be getting home soon. You must be very firm. Stand on a ladder, look them right in the eye, and holler, Simmer down and get into bed, hippos, now!
unless So never babysit the hippopotamuses. Unless, of course, your only other choice is to babysit their neighbors. Uh-oh. Oh, the monkeys. That would be pretty bad. Good night, guys. I love you, and I hope you stay tight. I will next week. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye.